At the height of the pandemic, it was critical for families to have computers and beyond that, to get them connected to the internet. There are as many as 100,000 Maryland residents who don't have access to high-speed internet. We're gonna address this from every angle. Leaving no one behind means getting everyone online. It's an ongoing problem the state is hoping to solve with an infusion of more than a quarter of a billion dollars from the federal government. At a Tuesday afternoon press conference, the state announced it was taking a major step toward improving access for needy families. We think it's important to make sure that that level of accessibility and affordability is then available for every single person within our state, because without it, you're blocking off opportunities that for many of our children don't even know exist in the first place. The state is working alongside Education Superhighway, a nonprofit organization to help close Maryland's digital divide. They're spearheading a program called the Affordable Connectivity Program, or ACP. If you're on Medicaid, you qualify. If you're on SNAP, you qualify. If you're receiving a Pell Grant or you're on free and reduced lunch, you qualify. There's a whole list of things. The company has a track record of helping public schools connect students to the Internet across the country. Now it'll go a step further in helping to target Maryland families who can afford basic technology services. They'll have access to that service. There are more than 44,000 locations in Maryland alone that are unserved or underserved. Each of those locations. To find out more about this program, go to our WBAL TV 11 News app. In Annapolis, Tim Tootin, WBAL TV 11 News.